as you all know, is a gift from God given to two human beings that binds them to each other. Brent and Ian have been blessed with this gift and your vows today will honor and confirm this gift. There is an old Chinese proverb that says, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Today marks a new adventure, a new journey, one that has no map, one that will last a lifetime. So one day, Ian G chats me. He's like, Shake, are you home? I'm like, yeah, I'm home. He's like, well, can I come by? I was like, sure. He's like, well, I'm going to bring my friend Brent. Have I told you about Brent? So Ian comes by, and he tells me, like, hey, I'm, I met this person. He has this beaming smile on his face. It's huge. And he says, this is my, um, this is more than just a friend, Brent. I'm jealous because... They were getting married to each other, and I wish I was a part of it. In one corner, we have Brent, who is a blonde babe, top tier. He is brilliant. He is compassionate. He is so kind. In everyone's life, I think Brent is the most caring person that anyone has ever met. He's somehow able to be that, not just for a few people, but really everyone in his life. <laughs> he was goofy as hell. I mean, he just was the life of the party, such a ham. I would look at him and I would hear his jokes and I would just want to repeat them. He was everything you wanted to be. And then in the other corner, we have Ian who is so thoughtful. I talk to Ian more than I talk to my mom. No matter where Ian is in his stage of life, no matter what age he's at, he will con you into more hours of fun than you have ever wanted to have in your entire life. I would say Ian is the life of any party he ever goes to. He's someone to be around where Everyone is always laughing. Well, Ian has the sass. And I love that Ian has the sass. He's so outward spoken and such a great human being, but he also is loud and fun and entertaining. You're really one of the greatest friends. I can really ask you for anything, which is no small thing. And I think it's partially why you attract such wonderful people. Yeah, so Brent, he was an amazing student, amazing citizen, but what amazed me most was his ability to bring people together. And it's only matched by what I see with Ian. Brent's dad would probably be so proud of him based off all of the stories that I've heard from my mom and his mom, and I just think he'd be partying more than any of us tonight. A couple weeks ago, Brent asked me if I could think of anything that belonged to his dad that he could take with him tomorrow. And the first thing I thought of was his wedding ring. I engraved it with part of 1 Corinthians, which says, love never ends. And at the time, I didn't know kind of how relevant that would be. Tomorrow, when you are there, all that love will be with you guys. They are constantly surrounded by friends and family who love them, and these are 
two of the most loving, generous, caring, selfless men I've ever met in my entire life. They've just become people that I've grown so close to so quickly, and I feel so grateful for that. I love you, Brent. You're the best big brother I could ever ask for. Sorry, y'all. Um, and Ian, it's been great getting to know you. I'm so happy that we can all welcome you to our family. I know y'all are a great couple, and I'm looking forward to this next chapter of our family's life. They are just the most amazing people to be around, and I can't emphasize that enough. They're so welcoming and quirky, and from the beginning when I met them, immediately I felt so comfortable around them. It's been really inspiring these past years getting to spend time with them and realize how awesome of a couple they are. It's really taught me a lot about love and what it can look like. In all my years of meeting and marrying people, I have to say that your love is exceptional and inspiring, not just to me, but to anyone who has the pleasure of standing in the sunshine of your happiness. You both place each other first. You're totally supportive to one another, and you push each other to reach your goals and then go beyond them. There are no obstacles for you two because anything you face together, you'll be able to do. Together, you'll go to places you would never have imagined, and you'll take turns giving directions, carrying each other's baggage, and navigating sudden changes. You will climb to new heights, you will seek out new wisdom, and you'll explore everything that life has to offer together. that you two love each other so much, you are so kind and caring, and that Brent has even grown to love cats, basically means that you two are ready to have a true happily ever after. <laughs> You're so quick to point out the best in each other. You're so quick to bring out the best in each other. You push each other to try new things. You encourage each other. You respect each other deeply. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I will be, I honor you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, and all that I will be, I honor you. Here on your wedding day, Ian and Brent, look around. This is your village. 
You've managed to collect people from every corner of the world, and we're here because we're your tribe. There are a lot of reasons why I literally hit the jackpot by being born 30 minutes before Brent. But then when I really think about it, it's not that I love having a twin, it's that I love having Brent as my twin. Ian. I can't believe Mr. Peter Pan is all grown up. Basically, wherever you were, I wanted to be, and that'll never change. He is the most genuine, kind, brilliant, adventurous, exciting person that anyone could ever meet. But I really think what sets him apart from everybody else is his heart. He has the biggest heart of anyone that I have ever met. I never had to convince Ian to be on my side. He always was. His fierce loyalty for his friends is unconditional and something that many people in this room can attest to. Your ability to light up a room and have a lasting impression on everyone you meet will never cease to amaze me. Every person in this room can attest to how loving, fun, compassionate, and generous you are. I honestly consider my biggest win in life to have you as my brother and to have had your unconditional love and support since day one. Thank you for always being my number one support. And also thank you for being my personal stylist. <laughs> because God knows I probably would have worn a juicy sweatsuit here. <laughs> I feel so lucky to have Ian as my friend for life and now my trip. I'm so excited to welcome someone so loving, warm, and charismatic as you into our family. I've never seen two people be so complimentary to each other and honestly bring out the best in me and everyone around you. There's no one in the world who deserves you more or who compliments you better than the man you're sitting next to right now. I'd like to ask everyone to raise their glasses to the grooms. May the love, joy, and support that you feel right now accompany you for the rest of your lives. Most of my life, this moment seems so far away, almost unattainable. Until one day, you confidently stepped into my life. From that moment forward, you made me become willing to dream and plan for the future in a way I never had before. Thinking back on all the memories we have experienced together, my first thought is that I could not love you more than I do in this moment. But I promise that I will. I promise that with every single day that goes by, our love will only grow stronger. I promise to cherish every moment we have together because every day with you is a gift. I've had the privilege of seeing your confidence, intelligence, and deep care of others on a daily basis. I cherish all the time we've already spent together and the ease and comfort that we have found with one another in our relationship. I keep waiting to be woken up from this fantasy because to this day, I still can't believe that I'm the one that gets to marry you.
promise to be there for you as you're always there for me. I promise to support you regardless of what joys or challenges life brings. You are my everything and I promise to dedicate the rest of my life to making you happy, friend. I can't wait to watch your life unfold as a beautiful adventure that it can and will be. I promise every day to stay committed to our love and life together. Giving me a reality that is better than my wildest dreams. And I will wake up every day striving to be worthy of your love. I'm so proud and joyous to take you as my husband in the presence of all of our friends and family. I love you and cannot wait to see our love grow each day for the rest of our lives. I choose you, today and every day, now and forever in this life and the next. They say your wedding day is one of the happiest days of your life. That's why I'm getting married eight times. <laughs> <laughs> So the one story that I am left with is the first night that I met Ian and Brent as a couple when they came out for the first time. They showed up un unannounced at a party that we were all at, but they were suddenly the focus of everyone's attention. There is actually a picture of them on Facebook standing on a bench above everyone else and everyone is smiling and laughing and reaching up to them and someone <laughs> someone actually commented on the Facebook picture about Ian, you look like you just got crowned the king of Asia. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Maybe. 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 It's going well. All right, good finagling. As far as it is, not my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> So much pressure. Pump it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I, as a young boy, I'm, I'm two years younger than Brent. And as a young young boy, I'd like to say that Brent was the main reason that we didn't leave baby Christian in a New Jersey rest stop to be raised by janitors. <laughs> I remember this distinctly. Brent uh, Christian was left on the floor, as often was the case, by our mother, and and we walked back out to the car. And Christian, or Brent looked at mom and said, Mom, don't forget the baby. <laughs> and then we went back and got Christian. Now he's the fine young man that he is today. Uh, now mom's convinced that didn't happen, but I remember it distinctly. <laughs> it's like a Motley Crue. Stomping out the ushers, yeah, everything. If I had kids right now, I would run. <laughs> short and sweet just like my brother <laughs> and um, try <laughs> sorry <laughs> went to the concert at the end of the concert after hours of jumping around with other sweaty people he said to me I'm going to get an uber if you come with me back to Center City we're going to get pizza So I look at Brennan and Ian and I see a doctor and a private equitist. <laughs> and I think to myself, I know where I'll be getting, bar who I'll be borrowing money from in 20 years. 